Hello everybody, Sean here. Welcome back to another Photoshop tips and tricks and tutorials. Um, today we have a question from Laura, I'm sorry, Lauren Montgomery. And she asks, I am new to CS6. I have just gotten off from CS5 and the crop tool totally has me lost. Can you please explain it? Yes, that's a very good question. Um, especially you know coming off of CS5 the crop tool is of course completely different in CS6 it's very good that you actually bring that up because um, I actually forgot about I was gonna do a tutorial on that a while back and I completely forgot um, for you, those of you that are in an older version of Photoshop and just migrating over um, it is different it does take a while to get used to but it's really not that complicated at all you just have to look at it a second time um, it's a lot more involved, but I believe it's a lot better. Let's talk about a few things, okay? To clear it up. Let me first start off by saying this. You can revert back to the classic mode that was in previous versions of Photoshop, okay? You switch this little gear here, and you can see right here on the top it says use classic mode. Now save that as a last resort. I really, really, um, I disagree with with doing that. At least try it out. Try to learn the new stuff because it's only going to continue this in future versions of Photoshop. Um, I think what's going to happen is, is once you get more comfortable with the new crop tool, I don't think you're going to want to revert back to the classic mode, but that's just my opinion. But it is a lot more powerful. Let's talk about why. If you notice now, automatically, you already have your handles here. Okay? So it's almost like the image is automatically already selected. That throws a lot of people off. Okay? You also have all kinds of new preset um, options here Auto Center, Preview, Show Cropped Area, Enable Cropped Shield, okay? Um, adjust Opacity. Okay? We have here. What kind of grid do you want on? We have the rule of thirds. We have um, triangle. We have a couple of these here. Auto show overlay. I like to leave it on the rules of thirds. That or grid. Okay, so we have that. But also, here's something very interesting about this crop tool. This is the number one thing that you'll notice off the bat, other than the handles already being there. Okay, watch this. I'm going to crop my image, right? Okay, I'm going to hit the check mark to okay this to save the changes, okay? Okay, we cropped it. But now what happened usually when you would crop an image? Those pixels are gone. Whatever you took off of the original image is thrown away. They're they're completely lost data unless you undo and revert back. Um but once you save this document, you this PSD file, you can't bring that back. Well, no. Now it's very non-constructive because what we did was we unchecked delete cropped pixels. So watch watch this. As soon as we grab these handlebars again, look, the image appears again. So say, mm, I want to add a little bit more. There you go. You can hit the check mark. Later on you decide, I want a little bit more. There you go. Nothing is ever deleted unless, of course, you uncheck that, which I don't really see why you would. but take advantage of it now here's something else that's pretty interesting if you remember in the past okay say your your image is crooked it's slightly off level what would happen is, is when you're in the crop mode okay if you go down here as you can see it turns into the rotate symbol just like it did in the past but if you remember what you would do is with the old crop tools when you would rotate it the crop handles would rotate. So in other words to say, the image would stay the same, but your crop selection would rotate. And that's kind of silly if, if you want it for the purpose of, of straightening your image. Well, watch what this does now. It's the opposite. Now, the crop selection and handles stay the same, but your image rotates. So say it's slightly off level, plus you got your grid on, you fix it, and then there you go. Your image is straightened and your crop stays the same. So that's kind of neat. 
like I said, there's different options in here. You might want to play around with these. You might want to play around with the grid. Um, you know, you could also do right here on the left side. You could do a, if you want the crop to be a certain dimension. If you want it to be uh, subjected to a certain uh, crop size, you could do that. Original ratio, a 4 by 3 a 5 by 7 You could save presets once you set them. If you want a specific uh, size crop for each image, if you're doing multiple images. So that's what I'm trying to say. Stay away from that classic mode. I think, especially after watching this tutorial, I hope you have a better understanding of the crop tool. And I think you're going to really like it a lot better opposed to the classic crop tool in CS5 and before that. Okay, hope that answered your question. Thanks a lot and stay tuned for the next tutorial and episode. Take care.